Hi, welcome to day five of Common Denominators. Today is just going to be a review of what we have been practicing on our other days. So just as a reminder, we said that common means same and denominator is the number on the bottom of the fraction. So we're trying to find one. And we talked about three different ways. So we're just gonna review the three different ways that we talked about. So the first thing to do because if it's there, it's really easy, is to check to see if the smaller denominator goes into the larger one. So this one does. So four goes into eight two times. So we just have to multiply one fourth times two over two, and we are going to get two eighths. And then this one's three eighths. We don't have to do anything to that because it already has our common denominator that we are looking for. And so now we could add or subtract these. Okay, so what about in another case like this? So first we check, does five go into seven? Nope, okay, so our easy path isn't there, but we can multiply anything by, we can multiply a fraction by one and keep it proportional. Seven over seven is one, and then we're gonna use the denominator over here, which is five, and we're gonna make a form of one with it five over five. And then three times seven is 21. And five times seven is 35. Six times five is 30. And seven times five is 35. So what we have that now is a common denominator. These are equivalent fractions. 3 fifths is equal to 21 30 fifths, and 6 sevenths is equal to 30 30 fifths. All, we didn't change the fraction, we just um, found a proportional equivalent fraction. Okay. Now, sometimes you look at a number and you're like, I don't want to multiply by 18. I don't want to multiply everything by 12. So there is another way, which is to find a least common multiple. So you take the bigger one and you start by timesing it by two. So 18 times two equals 36. And then you see if the smaller denominator goes into that. It does, 12 goes into 36 three times. So that's three times 12 equals 36. That's our least common multiple. If 12 didn't go in, then you would have to do 18 times three, 18 times four, 18 times five. You can always go back to that other method though and just multiply by the denominators in a um, form of one, okay? So now let's look at this. We have 36. We know that our common denominator is gonna be, that we're aiming for here is 36. Then we're gonna take this same factor and we're gonna multiply, we multiplied 18 by two, so we're gonna to have to multiply five by two. And we get 10. And we multiplied 12 by three, so we're gonna multiply one by three, and we get three. And now we have these two fractions that have common denominators, which makes them a lot easier to work with. And having a 36 as the denominator is a lot easier than 18 times 12. So that's why we would use this method. So yeah, good luck today. Um, there's going to be all different kinds on there and you just have to figure out which method works best for you and which one works best in each situation. Good luck and we'll talk to you next time. Bye!